Welcome to Baraton TV, here and hereafter. We are glad you're joining us again for the Bible Quarterly Lesson Study. This is very important for us, to study the Bible, mm. because in need we have life, not just now, uh -huh. but eternal life. Amen. But before we begin, I think it's important that we have a word of prayer. In fact, yeah. it's not that I think, mm. it's it important, mm -hmm. because without the Spirit of God, we will not make sense of His Word. Mm -hmm. We need that Spirit which inspired the writers to also inspire us that we may understand this Word, so that we may appropriate it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Let us have a word of prayer from Pastor Titus here. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Our Father and God in heaven, we thank you, dear God, because of our viewer and listener. Thank you, dear God, because you have been blessing her and him, whoever they are, listening from different places. We thank you also, dear God, for giving us an opportunity to share your word. Now as we share this lesson, we pray that you may be ahead of us, be in our lips, that anything that we are going to utter will give you honor and glory, because this we have prayed believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Present truth in Deuteronomy wow. mm. is the lesson we've been studying, children of God, mm. and we proceed. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have been saying that the lesson is simply a guide to the Bible. The Bible is what we are studying. Wow. Now, as we study the book of Deuteronomy, mm. get your lesson. Wow. We are providing a link right there for you to download if you haven't gotten a copy. But the book of Deuteronomy is where we are on, and this guide simply takes us to this book. Wow. Enjoy this journey as we go on lesson six. Lesson six tells us, yes. for what nation mm. Mm. is there uh -huh. so great? Ha. It is a question. And these brilliant children of God are going to expound on that. For what nation is there so great? Mm. We all admire greatness. Wow. In fact, yes. I believe it's an, an ambition that many out there watching yes. and those not watching are mm. pursuing even as we speak. Wow. Striving day and night, for not even going to sleep, for greatness ah. in all ways. Mm. People are praying for greatness uh, in their villages, mm. in their towns, in their homes, everywhere. Mm. Even children are pursuing, mm. how can I be better than these guys mm -hmm. around me? How can I rise above? Mm -hmm. How can I win that medal? Mm. Greatness, greatness is all over, mm. being sought for. Mm. So here the question is, mm -hmm. for what nation is there so great? Mm -hmm. We want to see this nation and what characterizes this nation. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 8 yes. is our key text. Mm. Deuteronomy 4 8. And this key text is mm -hmm. one that I'll want to hear. Wow. Debbie, I think you're there. You can read yeah. for us what you're seeing. Deuteronomy 4, 8 mm. says, mm. And what nation is there so great mm. that has statues and judgments mm. so righteous as all this law, mm. which I set before you this day? Mm. You have heard it. And what nation is there? And what nation is there so great according yes. to, your, to your version? Mm. Mm? Because that is what we are looking for. Mm. That has such statutes. My version says, mm. and righteous judgment, mm. as are in this law, yeah. which I set before you mm. this day. Mm. You see, in the book of Deuteronomy, mm. from uh, chapter 1 to chapter 3, yes. Moses has been recounting mm. what the Lord had done for the children of Israel mm -hmm. up to that moment. Wow. His greatness, his goodness, and his grace mm -hmm. that had brought them thus far. Mm. And at that point, as he makes them recall, looking mm. back what he has done for them, mm. and just like you need to take time, like I need to take time, even in the evening, in the morning, in the day, and I pause and yes. I ask God, mm. look where you have brought me. I reflect wow. on that. Mm. He's making them reflect mm. on what he had done for them. Wow. And after he does that, now he sets the stage mm. for where? he wants them to think wow. of where mm. they are going. Mm. But he says, I don't want you to think about that place mm -hmm. before I make you understand what will make you a prosperous mm -hmm. and a great nation. So that is how mm. chapter 4 comes about. Mm. Because Moses now is about to start 
making very critical statements mm. on what will make Israel, mm. what will make this a nation mm -hmm. that will be admirable, mm. a nation that will rise above all nations, mm. a nation that is going to conquer for the glory of God, mm -hmm. that the world may know who God is. Mm. And he tells them, look here, in the light of all that the Lord has done, mm. this is what he requires of you. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 1 of chapter 4. As Moses commands mm -hmm. obedience. Mm -hmm. Now, O Israel, yes. listen to the statutes mm -hmm. and the judgments which I teach you to observe, mm -hmm. that you may live oh. and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers mm. is giving you. Wow. That if you... Mm -hmm. Take heed mm. to the statutes, to the mm. commandments of God. Mm. You will live. Wow. And you'll not only live, you will go in and possess this fruitful land that mm -hmm. you have been dreaming about. Yeah. The Lord is giving his will. Yes. And the result of keeping the will. Exactly. Yeah, sure. mm. You're doing this and yes. the result of this is you inheriting mm. that land. Mm. So that is where we find ourselves. So Israel then... Mm has to see mm. that indeed God has done for you great wow. and he's promising to do great for you mm. but you have a part to play mm. but you can't play this part without God mm. you can't give these commandments without God but with him if you keep them mm. you will have life wow. and you're going to inherit the land that has been promised mm -hmm. but as you do this mm -hmm. there's a, a very serious mm -hmm. statement that also comes along in mm -hmm. fact a warning mm -hmm. yeah. that do not Mm -hmm. add mm. or take away. Mm. Children of God, we are so bent to finding ways of modifying, mm -hmm. of editing, mm. you know, that which the Lord gives us. Mm. We want to get creative around it. And yet creativity is a good thing. Yes. Yes. It is great. Mm. But not with that which God already knows. Because he's mm. all-knowing. Mm. When he says use the left door, he knows what is on the right door. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't need to get creative about it and suggest, but why don't we just dig under it yes. and we see what comes about. Mm. So he's giving out a warning, mm -hmm. not because he's a dictator, mm -hmm. not because of anything, mm -hmm. but because of love. Mm -hmm. He knows when we don't add, when we don't subtract, mm -hmm. It will be for your good. It will wow. be for my good. Sure. What a danger that comes about mm -hmm. when you and me decide that, hey, let me do it this other way. Mm. That is usurping the power of God. Mm. Telling him that, hey, we know better than you do. Follow me to verse 2 of chapter 4. Mm -hmm. You shall not add to the word which I command you, nor take from it that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, mm -hmm. which I command you. Mm -hmm. God is putting up a very stern mm -hmm. warning, not because of anything, but because of love. Mm -hmm. Do not add or take away. Mm -hmm. I'm your all-wise, all-knowing, and all-loving God who already has put it that this is good for you. So don't edit it. Mm -hmm. Don't modify mm. it. So when we think about the history of the children of Israel, mm -hmm. we see that they got into trouble mm -hmm. many, many times mm -hmm. for ignoring mm -hmm. this plain mm -hmm. word of God. Mm -hmm. By getting creative about it, mm -hmm. in quotes, by deciding to do that which God had not mm -hmm. given them mm -hmm. or decided for them to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. And this is tantamount to everything other than greatness. Wow. Even in the days of Christ, mm. we see him teaching. Mm. If you went to Matthew 15, which I'll not read, verses 1 to 9. Mm -hmm. And when he's approached by people asking questions, he tells them, look here. Mm -hmm. The Pharisees have been in the business mm. of taking the tradition that they put up. Mm. Traditions of men mm. ahead of my commandments. Mm -hmm. Do not go that route. Mm -hmm. Whichever way... Men may look wise, they may philosophize mm. and come up with statements that, yes, they excite us. Mm -hmm. Don't go after those statements wow. or new laws mm -hmm. or new thinking or mm. thoughts, mm -hmm. but rather follow my plain mm. word. Because he described them, mm. which I found shocking, mm. that they are blind guides ah. leading the blind. Ah. How, How I pray mm. that we do not end up having blind guides as mm. leaders. Amen. Yeah as religious leaders, mm -hmm. and then we also follow them blindly, yeah. wow. all heading onto that cliff, 
into eternal damnation. Mm. God is so careful mm. that we may also watch out so that we do not add or subtract from that which he has given us. Exactly. Because when we do that, mm -hmm. we lose our uniqueness. Mm -hmm. We lose the greatness mm -hmm. that he has promised mm -hmm. that we may have. Mm -hmm. You may want to pick it on because yes. <laughs> it gets more exciting as we move on. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, dear viewer. Now, Brother Joel Mutunji has given us a candid introduction of our lesson. And the lesson has a very interesting topic, as you have been informed. For what nation mm. is there so great? A question. A question mark is there. Now, the greatness in this context, dear viewer, is, me is measured uh, within the realms of allegiance to God. When the children of Israel stayed within the confines of the will of God, they were great. Any man who alleges his success or who attributes any uh, victory in life to God is deemed to be great. The greatness of any Christian in the world that we have today is measured by how much he is or she is dedicated to God. That is why the question has been asked about Israel. Now, we don't, we don't want to get back there, but I want to continue and add to what our, uh, our, 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 our coordinator has just begun with. And uh, getting to the book of Numbers, chapter 25, verse number 1 to verse number 15, we will not read all these verses, but there is an interesting narrative there. Uh, that is brought to us about the children of Israel. I will do justice for you to understand what we are saying by reading the first few verses of chapter 25 of Numbers. Mm. And it is talking about the prostitution of Israel mm. in Moab. And during, I mean, in the course of this narrative, you will get to hear or I mean, uh, get to be introduced to, a ma to some uh, God here. Uh, who is termed by the name Baal Peor. I don't know whether that is the term that you would also uh, pronounce oh, yes, it is. as you read your Bible, but it is Baal Peor. Mm. But we will still uh, go and research what is the right pronunciation, but that is the Baal that is found there. Mm. Numbers 25, verse 1, the Bible says, Then Israel remained in Shittim, and the people began to commit prostitution with the women of Moab. They invited the people to the sacrifices of their gods. The Bible says, then Israel. Mm. I want you to mark those words, then Israel. Why does the Bible have to be precise on who is engaging in this unworthy act before God? Mm. Then you, dear viewer, God mentions you by your name. Then Brian. Mm -hmm. Then Sharon. Mm. Then Abigail. Mm -hmm. Then Joel. Then Joel. Mm -hmm. Then Titus. Mm -hmm. Then Deborah. Mm -hmm. Then Israel remained in Shittim. Mm. And the people of Israel began to commit prostitution with the women of Moab. Mm. Mm. They invited the people to the sacrifices of their gods. Mm -hmm. And the people ate and bowed down to their gods. Terrible. Yet there was to be only one God to be bowed down to. Mm. Only one God to be worshipped, dear viewer. Verse number three, the Bible says, So Israel joined, mm, So Israel joined to Baal of Peor. Mm. A God of a small g, a God who is not Yahweh, who is not God who brought the children of Israel mm. out of the land of captivity, mm. Mm. land of Egypt. So Israel was joined to Baal Peor. And you know, do you know what happened after that? The Bible says, and the anger or the anger of the Lord mm. was aroused yeah. against Israel. Now, if the Bible has already mentioned that the Lord was angered, you just know what happens after that. I don't have to read. Because when God is angered, you see, we know God to be a long-suffering God. 
by the time god is angered that means it has come to the peak yeah, to mm-hmm. the peak you see god understands god is long suffering mm-hmm. god wings in terms of our ignorance but when it gets to a time where by, when the bible says that then the lord was angered mm-hmm. that means the lord has been persevering for too long now and he's saying enough is enough mm-hmm. i am going to show you that i am your god not because he wants to destroy you out of no love but because he loves you and he wants to show you that this is not the, the direction that is going to lead you to mm. be saved and so dear viewer as we look to this uh, i want to remind you that israel had been chosen by god to be the salt and the work of salt as i have known in my science and biology is to preserve food from getting rotten the work of salt also is to add flavor to food israel among us the foreign nations were to be the salt when the society had when the society go to a state of tastelessness israel had been placed there by god to bring some taste of the sweetness of god mm-hmm. but they failed to to do that instead of being the salt mm. they became the bacteria of uh, oh. making the food rotten <laughs> instead mm. of becoming the light they were the ones who were mm. switching off the lights mm. and there was darkness mm. yet god had given them enough mm. oil to make sure that their lights are burning mm. so it happened that at the end of the day israel had become corrupt had get and had gotten entangled to Baal Peor and they failed to fulfill the purpose of God for them in that very land as we look at this dear viewer what are we learning or what is the lord trying to speak to you and i today because this is a lesson that we need to derive something as we read also The book of first peter says but you are a chosen de- generation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a holy priesthood mm-hmm. people of god who, are, who have been called out of darkness into the marvelous oh, light help us lord wherever you are walking dear viewer mm-hmm. wherever i am walking mm-hmm. i should remember that i am a peculiar person mm-hmm. a person who's been bought by the blood of christ mm-hmm. jesus mm-hmm. that wherever i am to those who have not known this light to those who have not gotten this light i should help them to get this light yeah. mm-hmm. we will be having so many bal gods around us ready to corrupt us and entangle us not to fulfill that which god has for us mm-hmm. the lord is saying you should not be entangled mm-hmm. to, to such a bal mm-hmm. and how can we manage not to be entangled there is a secret the mm-hmm. book of deuteronomy chapter 4 Yes, yes. As I give you this secret, I'll be finalizing mm. to give my dear panelist Deborah. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 which is a book interesting as it may be. We are looking at this book throughout this quarter. I believe dear viewer that when all is said and done you would have gotten something out of it. Brother Joel, could you help us read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 mm-hmm. verse for the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 4 verse 4 yes. says mm. but you who held fast to the Lord Aha. your God now you see as i have said before when you are reading mm. a verse mm. and uh, the bible gets to a point as it begins the next verse with a conjunction but mm. Mm. that means what is about to be said is contrary mm. to what was said earlier mm. and so we want to be sure that what i am saying is true by reading the previous verse so we got verse 3 let's go to verse 3 let, let me give you mm. verse 3 which yes. says mm. your eyes have seen what the lord did yes. at bar peer uh-huh. for the lord your god yeah so the lord had to discipline mm. Mm. those who got entangled to Baal mm. peor uh-huh. yes. for the lord your god has destroyed from among you yes all the men who followed yes Baal yes. of peor aha <laughs> so all the men who followed the Baal of peor, Pe- peor were destroyed mm. that is what the lord is saying mm. yeah. now let's continue now but you but you 
who held fast to the Lord your God. Who held fast to the Lord your God uh-huh. are alive today. Are alive today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to be one of these. Yes. Uh-huh. Everyone uh-huh. of you. Amen. Thank you so much, mm-hmm. uh, Brother Mutunji, for that uh, um, eloquent um, disposition. Now, what is the secret mm-hmm. of being saved? Mm-hmm. A midst a society which is corrupt mm. and is prostituted by false teachings and false gods. Uh, the secret, dear viewer, is cleaving to the Lord Amen. your God. Amen. The Bible says, but you who held to the Lord your God. Mm. I want to tell you, dear viewer, that the secret of victory in your Christian life around the, the gods of Baal surrounding you is to cleave to the Lord your God. Amen. You can only mm. conquer when you cleave to the Lord your God. Mm. Look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were able to conquer and stand firm in the polluted Babylon because they clinged to the, to, to the Lord their God. Mm. Look at Joseph mm. under the house of Potiphar mm. with the mysterious wife of Potiphar. Mm. He was able to conquer because Joseph in his heart and mind oh, clinged us, to the Lord his God. Mm. Look at David. Mm. Though he was falling here and there, at the end of the day, David is called a man after God's own heart. Mm. Why? Because David, even in his falling and rising up, he always remembered to cling to the Lord his God. Help us, Lord. The secret of victory, dear viewer, mm. if you will not get anything in this lesson, mm. is that the secret of victory in your Christian walk and life mm. is to cling to the Lord your God. Amen. Amen. Hmm. What a challenge there we have. Amen. I, I wish we had more time for you to settle down, but you must speak it up immediately. Sure. You know. <laughs> there you go, Deborah. Mm. After such mm. beautiful and powerful words, mm. what else is there to be said? Mm. Mm? And yet it has to be said. It yes. has to be said, but <laughs> yes. what is there to be said? <laughs> but anyway, moving mm. forward, yes. uh, we are now getting into the part of understanding mm-hmm. this greatness, mm. understanding how Israel was a great nation. Mm. And I will read the book of Deuteronomy, mm-hmm. chapter 4, verse 5 mm-hmm. to 9. Mm-hmm. I will read the whole of it. All right. And from verse 5, I read, mm-hmm. Behold, I have taught you mm-hmm. your status mm-hmm. and judgments, mm-hmm. even as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do so mm. in the land where you go to possess. Mm-hmm. So Moses is talking to the Israelites. Mm-hmm. So verse 6, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, mm-hmm. which shall hear of these statues and say, So these nations mm-hmm. will hear of how the Israelites are keeping the statues and the judgments of God, mm-hmm. and will therefore say, Surely, this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Mm -hmm. And verse 7, For what nation is there so great Mm -hmm. that has God so near unto them? Mm. For what nation is there so great that has God so near unto them? Mm. As the Lord our God Mm -hmm. is in all things that we are called upon for. Mm. Finishing with verse 8, For what nation is there so great Mm -hmm. that has statues and judgment so righteous as all these laws which I set before you? Mm -hmm. What is being said unto us today? Mm. What is it being said? Mm -hmm. Moses is making a reminder Mm -hmm. to the Israelites Mm -hmm. that they are a chosen nation, Mm. that they are a great nation, Mm. that these Israelites Mm. have been chosen to be a light, as it was earlier said, mm-hmm. to be a light. Mm-hmm. And now they are being reminded mm-hmm. that they are a chosen nation and not that the salvation of God is found in them. Mm-hmm. It is important to note that mm-hmm. they are chosen, yes, mm-hmm. but the salvation is not found in them. Uh-huh. But that through them, mm-hmm. through them, mm-hmm. the truth of the only God who saves, uh-huh. the truth of the only God who saves wow. is being revealed. Amen. 
So us as Christians, mm. we are being reminded that we are a chosen generation, yes. a peculiar people. Oh, yes. So therefore, mm. our way of actions, our way, our, the words we say, mm -hmm. everything mm. should be a revelation mm. of, of who? God mm -hmm. who, who alone mm -hmm. saves. Mm -hmm. So we should not forget that our way of dressing, our way of talking, mm -hmm. our actions, mm -hmm. everything we do should be a revelation mm -hmm. of the God who alone mm -hmm. saves. Mm -hmm. So m going back to what was said in verse 6, mm. by keeping therefore and doing them mm. is the wisdom and understanding mm -hmm. in the sight of all the nations. Mm. What is being said here? That when the Israelites keep and understand, mm -hmm. the, they take the, the law and the statutes at heart. Mm. When they keep the statutes of God and the judgments of God at heart, this is when the wisdom and the understanding that is being said in verse 6 mm. is being revealed mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So what is being said here today? Mm. We are being reminded yet again, because earlier... We have been talking of obedience, obedience, obedience. Mm. So yet again here we are being reminded mm. and we are being called to obey. Mm. A call of obedience is being made here today whereby by us obeying and keeping the law of God at heart, mm. we are therefore putting ourselves to be the peculiar people that we are supposed mm. to be. Mm. And by us making ourselves a peculiar people, and obeying the word of God, that is then, then uh, the light of God can be seen mm, in us. Mm. So today, we are reminded that obedience is the only truth mm. that can be spoken of us. Amen. Through obedience, is then we are called to live the truth of God through our obedience mm. to his word, mm. through our obedience to his commandments and mm. his statutes. Mm. So what we are expected to live out is a life of nothing but obedience. Mm, amen. A life of nothing but obedience. Mm, Remembering so. that we are just but a peculiar people chosen to be a light. And therefore we are reminded to be living a life of obedience. Mm. Yes. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 What do we have before us? Mm but to do that which mm. the Lord requires Hallelujah. of us. Mm. You see, I'm reminded of the words mm. that uh, Solomon pens uh, unto us mm. in the book of Proverbs 14.34, mm. yes. that righteousness mm -hmm. exalts mm -hmm. the nation, mm -hmm. but sin mm -hmm. is a reproach mm -hmm. to any people. Mm -hmm. But you see, the New Living Translation mm -hmm decided to rhyme with greatness today mm -hmm. because it says mm -hmm. godliness mm -hmm. makes a nation mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. now i don't know about you but like we explored at the beginning mm -hmm. we, we all desire greatness mm -hmm. yes. and yet this greatness is not found in us mm -hmm. greatness belongs to god mm -hmm. and he wants to share that greatness with you mm -hmm. and with me mm -hmm. and just like the call has come mm -hmm. from our sister deborah mm -hmm. here we cannot achieve this greatness mm -hmm. without obedience. Mm -hmm. yeah. We cannot achieve this greatness mm -hmm. without cleaving, yeah. wow. like Pastor Titus has just put mm. it, cleaving unto God. Mm. Because when we separate ourselves from him, mm. the result is disaster, mm -hmm. misery, mm. and utter destruction. Mm -hmm. Just like we saw mm. when yeah. these guys go and end up getting the temptation mm -hmm. from the neighboring nations mm -hmm. during them away from God. You see, we must get this clearly, mm -hmm. that for us to be a great nation, a great people, mm -hmm. to have great families, great institutions, mm -hmm. the formula mm -hmm. is one. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. God. Yes. Wow. Our prayer then is that we may keep at his feet. Mm -hmm. Amen that we may walk with him all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. That we may keep 
near to the cross. Amen. Why don't you commit us to the Lord in prayer mm. that these things as sweet as they are, sure. they will be practical mm -hmm. and lived out in our lives. Amen. Amen. Mm. So let's believe and pray. Dear everlasting Father, we come before thy presence this moment, chief of sin as we are, we ask that you may forgive us all the things that we have done through all sort of thoughts and actions. Oh my Lord, I come before you asking that you may give us the strength to cleave unto you, dear Lord, mm. that you may give us the ability to stand by you at all times, dear mm. Lord, and mighty Father, that you may be able to continue reminding us that we are light, that in everything we do, dear Lord, may it bring glory and honor to your name, mm -hmm. Father. Father, Lord God, I come before you also not forgetting that, Lord, give us hearts of obeying your will, dear Lord, mm -hmm. that at all times may we learn to depend on you each and every day, all for the glory and honor of your name, dear Lord. Mm -hmm. I pray this prayer, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.